when i left home in my childhood days one thing i decided is the world is a very dangerous place and i have decided to face the dangerous world to know the truth of the dangerous world neither to join this side or that side god of the devil rich of the poor i thought i will just observe in the observation i came to know quite a lot of things and gave me happiness veda course this is the third one the sun it neither rises nor does it set he who knows this he attains moksha they say the sun neither rises neither it has got a setting also that means they are telling there is no start neither an end for anything everything is uh, moving yes. it keeps on moving flowing water is fresh water is jagan water is there is no birth and there is no death it is a system which keeps moving and once you understand that you be a part of that system once you understand that you become powerful of the system the whole world becomes you and the world has no god no end like certain cells they say till the age of 25 500 cells start building up in the body after the age of 25 500 cells start dying every day that's what they call the old age but you don't look into the young or old age it is just a way of life when you go the world gives the power the sun it neither rises nor does it set there won't be any school starting or school closing there is no studies where you have a question where you have to give an answer but when you become conscious of that particular chapter and your circumstances and then when you put it back into your regular family and the joint family which connects to the family tree and we always look up to the family tree you get so much rooted there is no rising and setting there is no birth or death you understand the totality in that totality where is the beginning and where is the end it is just orgasmic experience but when the orgasmic experience is one sided that the man alone enjoys and the women doesn't enjoy the women alone alone enjoy man doesn't enjoy then it is called rape it is not orgasmic ex- orgasmic ex- when both together you and the nature together when it reaches a particular point and then you find a new path opening <sighs> and you look at circumstances accordingly you plan to get in more fruits and more vegetables and you can allow the excess water to pass to another field that is satori's and those satori's reach you to enlightenment that enlightenment is all the human being is all about otherwise all this talk of rich and the poor the moment they say you are rich and the other is poor that means in the society there is no sharing is is what i try to explain the husband and the wife they both have a fourth play and then they go deeper and deeper and try to understand and the time comes when they really make love together they have understood to just blast it that orgasmic experiences cannot be exp- Blind. That strengthens the bone. That strengthens the physical body from diseases, and a new world opens. A new energy opens. In that energy lies the power of a thousand man warrior. Whether cause the sun it neither rises nor does it set. Yes, and in that it has no setting. It is a, a flow of experiences. Holy thing, you have to be conscious. He who knows this, he attains moksha means he attains freedom. What is freedom? Everything what you see is beautiful for you. Everything what you see has got a beauty in what you call it for the spiritual world, a God in it. And in that God exists happiness and power. and you are ready to fight the devil out of every 
child, every human being. That might be what people are calling it is good and bad. But now I found out good and bad is according to the to the racist mentality, according to the the people who had the power, the rulers, they created the law not according to what is needed in the society, but what's the what is needed in the society. If that is understood, then there is only freedom. You are free. In that free, you understood. There is so much of power in it. And then you don't know, you don't need to ask anybody. I had a shock, current shock, a powerful current shock, yes. And everybody said when I was lying down, unable to move or unable to talk, this is just a two days back story. And on third day, I'm in full power, yes. They said, go to the hospital. If I was taken to the hospital, what is written in the Google, they say, current shock, you take 7, 15 days time to recover. Your nervous centers must have been damaged. Then they put you in the ICU. I mean, the ICU, all your bloody money, I'll see you. ICU means intensive care unit and they squeeze all your money, 8 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 40 lakhs. And then you become a nobody. If possible, they make you a multiple multi-rich man, they call multiple organ, multiple rich becomes failure, multiple organ failure. No multiple organ failure, I'm sitting here. Once you understand your body, that you are not frightened of life or death, and you, you decide that what is there, it's okay, if the full is there, it's okay, because most of my children are visually challenged, they cannot see, so what they are running, so if a certain part of my body is gone, so what I'm running? Some are deaf and dumb, some are physically handicapped. So what they're running? So what is the fear if certain parts of my nervous center is affected and uh, my body is not functioning, I can still run with uh, that little. To tell you the truth, look, look, my nose is broken. In a fight, my head, blood spilled out, broken. I have got my wrist broken, my thumb, see, broken. Cuts, rib damage, hip crack. I tried to take a truck with 25 people, hip cracked, both my knee dislocated. I'm running around. If I look into all the disability, I am more physically disabled than anybody else. But I said, don't go, no need to go to the hospital. People who are running up to the hospitals are frightened that, that they will die. That doesn't mean I'm. They are not telling you that you should go to, but don't disturb them every time. Sometimes you have to look into your body to understand your body. Taking a trace is okay. I said, I'm not going to the hospital. I knew it was a mental trap. I can trick my body back telling, bloody, I'm not going to listen to you. You listen to me. And I knew, slowly came back. I had head pain and uh, my body always loves, the world loves if they think, even the smallest thing, you are ready to fight, the whole world supports you. That is what, when you become nothing, when everything is lost, you can still call it zero to hero. Yes, you can still rise up. That is the power what Veda quotes. He attains moksha. He who knows this attains moksha means attains freedom. Freedom is not that you got freedom from the Britishers. A freedom is to understand and you enjoy that body what is related to you. And you make sure, like the Japanese say, means you go ahead, attain what you wanted. But at the back side they say, Take care. That is the freedom. Taking care. Yes. You take care and you make sure everything is in proper order and you see that happiness. Sometimes in the taking order, they won't listen to you. Like in my ashram also, I have Padma, Kaniga, Arkavida and all. Don't listen to me sometimes. When they become seniors, they put up standards uh, how I should act and in what way I should run the ashram. I used to remind my seniors, no, 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 I, I am more experienced, you listen to me, 
Don't try to suppress me. If they, you wanted to suppress me, then I could have been in my house. My house people could have told me that we are Brahmins, Kshatriyas, Vaishya, Shudra, the Hindu, Muslim, Christian. They could have told me this child belongs to this caste and that child belongs to this religion. Don't talk to them. Then in my school, I, I could have made it up and down. No, no, no. I have come out of that freedom, I go, come out of that slavery, came out so that I can mix with everybody. And I see everybody in God's form. God's form means the moksha form. Sun neither rises nor it uh, says, I knew there is no rich and poor in that body what I am looking. I don't look into the richness or the poor. I just happily enjoy in talking and I do not want my seniors or my people around me to control, control me. Because if they control, then they, they are trying to suppress the activity of a vast ocean of energy moving to make sure that everybody gets the best to make them aware that there is a power and I'm telling them there is a power that you are a thousand man warrior you can move like a thousand man warrior yes and the oceans and mountains will give way by ocean mountains the problems can give when that can give way who can stop you flowing water fresh water stagnant water stinks I kept on telling that you have to be with the nature be with the rain water be with the sun, lie, be with the wind and stabilize your family. All this understanding is when you stabilize your family, love your family, be in love with your family and strengthen the bond, the family sits together, you should brace together, grows together. You can find the joints going, that joint you see the family tree standing tall. That tall is the moksha because you are not frightened but don't suppress.